All right, hey everybody. Um, on this week's episode of the Suited Shootist, I was gonna dive into the uh, the Being Basic series, but something had come across my feed that I just wanted to touch on real quick. And basically, what it is is regardless of who you get your information from it's always a good idea to approach it with a certain level of skepticism you know you want to try and critique it the same way that you would analyze your gear selection it's almost one of those things where if you can approach it whether it is a piece of equipment whether it is an opinion whether it's a tactic whatever if you can come at it and find out where its weak points are and make it fail, once you know where that failure point is, you can determine how valid it is for your circumstances. Uh, this is all kind of stemming from the fact that for whatever reason, in about the last six months, there seemed to have been an influx of very capable and accomplished people that are putting out either incomplete information or info that is, if I'm being generous, less than ideal for most of us. You know, just the the, the regular uh, the regular Earth people, as uh, to steal a phrase from Daryl Bulky. Um, so it's one of those things that just because somebody has held a certain job title doesn't make them infallible, and it doesn't necessarily make them an expert on everything. In addition to that, it can also skew their perspective. Um, a, you know, it, it just because you've got these folks that have spent good chunks of time doing bad things to bad people for the good of our country, their skill sets and their abilities are likely going to be light years beyond what yours and mine are. And so you can put them in suboptimal conditions with suboptimal equipment, and the likelihood that they're going to still come out on top is dramatically higher than if you put you or me in that same set of circumstances with that same set of, of equipment. So I'm just a regular dude. I want to stack the deck in my favor as much as possible because if a circumstance arises that... I'm going to have to respond to, whether it's a medical situation or whether it's a use of force encounter or whatever, I'm already behind the curve. Uh, and so that's not the time to expect that things are going to start breaking my way and, and things are going to start to lean in my favor. So I want to cheat. I want to have as much of an advantage as possible. So, you know, I'm not going to set myself up to try and have to improvise medical gear. I'm going to make sure that the equipment that I select has a proven track record of success um, because at the end of the day, I'm not a professional in this arena. It is an augmentation to my normal everyday lifestyle. And so it's just one of those things where whenever you hear this stuff, and a lot of it has just kind of become commonplace lore um, it's taken at face value with no real scrutiny and I think that's a problem because I mean number one it just stifles intellectual growth on everybody's part and number two it helps to perpetuate this bad information that for the most part is probably not going to cause a lot of people a problem because they're never going to be in a position to use it but if you already find yourself on that far end of the bell curve, then you're already in a very bad position. And if you find out that your primary game plan ain't working and you don't have a backup, then it's going to be a tough spot. Um, and again, a lot of these folks have become very well-regarded personalities for good reason. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to skyline anybody. I'm not bagging on anyone because they have accomplished more 
than I can really ever hope to, just as you know, your normal everyday Joe. They have already contributed a lot more to our society, and they have my respect for that. I like to think that a lot of them, um, if they are inadvertently putting out this less than ideal info, it's simply from a standpoint that it's that knowledge bias. Things are so intuitive and understood to them that it doesn't necessarily connect that for you know the average Joes, uh, it may be a little bit more complicated of a situation. You know, you, you spend enough time around enough accomplished people and it's very easy to kind of become tone deaf to what the normal standard level of performance is. Unfortunately, yeah, there's probably a few of them out there that are just trying to capitalize on their resume and, um, and, and turn it into a few bucks. Those people I have a severe problem with because I think they are doing a disservice uh, not only to their audience, who they are to a degree kind of exploiting uh, because of a level of, of ignorance and kind of this, this cult of personality following, but it, it's, it's a little disingenuous for my tastes. Um, thankfully, it's fairly easy to tell who's who, so just approach it with a certain level of skepticism. And to kind of highlight my point, like I said, just because somebody has held a job title doesn't necessarily mean that everything they say is worth listening to. And here's a perfect way to prove my point. Regardless of what your political affiliation is, there has been a president within the last two decades that you think is a complete asshat and you would not listen to a word they have to say. Even though they were the president of the fucking United States. That's a pretty big deal. But that doesn't necessarily mean that everything they have to say on a given subject is worth listening to. So if that's true for the president, why wouldn't it be true for literally everybody else? <laughs> there are asshats in Dev Group, Delta, Recon, law enforcement agencies, any section of the population that you take there's gonna be some idiots. So, just don't take it at face value, myself included. I'm just some random dude on the internet. So, that's why anytime I put this kind of information out, I really try and avoid saying, hey, do this. What I'm striving to do is share my experiences, my trial and error, and say, hey, here's something that I've run into Here's something that you might want to consider. Here's a thought process that may help you draw a useful conclusion. So hopefully that's what you're getting out of this. And, uh, you know, again, regardless of who it is, just dig into what they're saying. Make sure that there's enough why behind it to justify the, uh, the, the opinion or the information that they're putting out. Um, peer review is a big thing. For whatever reason, there's not as much of it in the defensive community as there is in academia. Um, doesn't Not to say it doesn't exist, but there are a lot of opinions that seem to go unchecked in our space that wouldn't necessarily fly in other arenas. And I think that's something that we could probably do a little bit better on. So just something to think about for the upcoming week. Whenever that comes out, ask yourself why. Ask yourself you know, what's testing process has this gone through to validate it? So, you know, just a little kernel of thought for you. Hope everybody has a great week. Um, since these are YouTube videos now, uh, it would be super helpful to subscribe, like, share it around. Uh, if you're watching it on IGTV, go over to the YouTube channel, do the same. Um, and then as kind of an exciting little announcement, I'm gonna be putting out uh, a more detailed thing on this, but um, I'm really excited about this. We've actually picked up two official sponsors. So um, 
yeah, that's that's huge. Uh, and so I'll be going into a little bit of detail on that in a, in a later post. So again, I hope you found this useful, some food for thought, and uh, have a great rest of your week.